So we come to the last move in the Pilates Hypno Qigong sequence, basically based on the eight brocades, but again, we put the breath in with the movement slightly different. Um, again, it's movement. We're not going down the meridian path for stuff. Done that in other videos. Um, I'm gonna go down this path. So with this one, this one's called, this is the last move in the sequence, the eighth move of the eight, or based on the eight brocades. Uh, this one's called Shake the Back Seven Times to Eliminate 100 Illnesses, or the Bai Bing. Um, this one is basically flex, a lot of flexion and extension. Um, I've seen within the forms, there's not a lot of, sort of modifications for this part. There's a bit where you go like this. Um, I'm going to add some support with the hands. Um, as with any movement, you know, no matter what it is, you know, add a mod modification in there. Exploit the range, speed, tempo, whatever it is to make it as easy or as hard as you like. Um, remember, it's your body work. So again, adapt it to your body. So with this one, we're zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, taking the navel towards the spine, Pilates style, two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbones, shoulders down, palms on the lower lobes of lungs. And you're just breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. And as you do that, You'll feel the breath coming low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs. So much so you might feel the two middle fingers slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. So as you do that now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. As if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, you can leave the hands here, or if you know and you can feel the breath coming into the lower lobes of lungs, you don't have to do that. If you do this, you'll see them slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. So again, you can either leave the hands here or here. As you're doing this, keep zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals and breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips for as long as you like. Okay, we'll work with that in a minute. And that's gonna just help you use the pelvic floor and the corset in the most efficient manner. The corset muscle as you do this is three layers deep, segmentally stabilizing the spine like a corset going round that links on to the pelvic floor here. This B line, pinion line, belt line, and that links on like cling film, three layers deep to the corset. So they both go together. So if you engage one, just the pelvic floor, that's gonna do here. Vice versa, you do here, you're tugging the belly button, engage the corset, it's gonna do the other one. But again, we're going for it segmentally. So zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, and keep on breathing in through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. Lovely. So that's lateral thoracic breathing, Pilates style. Then we're gonna add the elongated out breath. So what we simply do is make the out breath longer than the in breath. Quadruplet, doublet, triplet, wherever you like the out breath. So as you breathe in through the nose, you're gonna exhale through pursed lips for as long as you like. Not force anything, just make the out breath longer than the in breath. It can be quite a lot longer or a little bit longer, depending on your breathing pattern. Okay, again, just make the out breath longer than the in breath. And that'll allow you to tap into the parasympathetic nervous system the subconscious part of the mind. When you breathe in, it's generally a conscious thought. When you exhale, it's subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation as you elongate that out breath longer than the in breath. As you keep gathering your navel towards the spine, you simply make the out breath longer than the in breath. Lovely. So with that breathing, we're gonna link that to motion. It's basically flexion and extension of the spine, really. Um, like I said, we're not going to the meridians and that on this video. So the bit we do on the elongated out breath, because we're breathing with the spine, this you know, spine generally goes like this, it breathes in and it exhales. So we're basically, the bit we do the exhale on, we're gonna elongate and make that motion longer. So again, nice simple motion to start off from. Stand naturally. Again, feet hit with the part. Uh, together will be harder basically. So slightly parted would be easier. If you need them wider, so you've got less time, less sort of you know range to get down, then do that. If you keep the knees softer, then do that. See what suits you, adapt it to you. 
So from here, we're gonna calibrate and synchronize the breath with the motion, integrate the breath with the movement. So again, we're gonna start here. We're gonna just breathe in and exhale down. So again, we start a little bit of extension here, or we do this part first, we exhale down. Okay, again, if you need to soften the knees, soften them, or don't come down that low, or even support here. If you've got problems with the back, or it's you know age related, whatever it is, you know, here, or all the way down. If you want to take the feet in, you can take the feet in to make it harder, slightly parted generally. If you need them wider, that, that's less range to get down. If it's softer here on the knees, it's easier to get down. So again, see what suits you. Play around with these. And again, so you're going to exhale down. It's not sort of Uttanasana in yoga. Not there's anything wrong with that. We're not stretching to stretch. We're just exhaling down and just gathering, navel towards the spine. Think a little rip cord on your belly button, pulling in towards the spine. That magnet on the spine, pulling the belly button in. And we're gonna breathe in, come up. Nice, simple motion. The only difference is here, this is the general motion. We breathe, we breathe in all the way up. We come back here and then we hop and go down. But I've added this in, I would add this in. Okay, if you're not too sure, or you've got any back problems, definitely do this, or maybe leave this part out. Gather in here for support the whole time, especially. Again, exploit the range. You have to go all the way back here for just a little bit. Breathing in, a little hop on the heels, and you exhale down. You carry on that exhale down. You fire the exhale, that little hop on the heels. Exhale. You elongate this out breath, unstacking these vertebras bone by bone for as long as you like. And if, even if the legs are straight, they're not locked, they're just shy of locking out, or soft, or softer if need. Then breathing, come up a little bit quicker. Fire that exhale down, okay? Slow, slow motion, exhaling down. See it's slower on the exhale, so you get that hypnotheric response or the parasympathetic nervous system that elongated out breath that's benefited that system. Okay, tiny waist here especially, navel towards the spine, as if you've got a little magnet on the spine and you're pulling the belly button in. And we're gonna breathe in, come up, a little bit quicker, come back. <laughs> and we fire that exhale down. So we'll just do it the breathing so you can hear it, okay? So again, just look at the motion I'm elongating the out breath on. That's the out breath motion. So again, it's here, come back here, and then we fire the exhale from here. <sighs> Up to you if you want to do it like this, or you know this motion, because you know, remember there's a little bit of instability here. I would do this and then come back to here. I wouldn't do this here, okay? Again, you might be fit and you know, get away with that, but again, if you've got any sort of problems with the back, I wouldn't sort of do this you know, motion here, back here. I literally come back, support the back, spread the fingers, and then come up and then fire this. <sighs> Again, there's a space at the end of the breath. You'll be aware of that. Then you breathe in, come up a little bit quicker on the in-breath. Come back, get that extension in all on the in-breath. Again, that little hop can be less than I'm doing it. I'm coming right up, it can be just a little bit. Again, that'll help bone density in the heels, etc. But again, the Pilates style, again, we gather in, navel towards the spine. Just watch that. I would be quite specific on that. I wouldn't do that hop back there in a hard extended back position. You know, um, again, really be weary here. Again, come back just a little bit. And then exhale, fire this exhale. Again, you can do two of these, or three or four, whatever you like. It's a, uh, Come back here, we finish the in-breath. Then we go. A little bit quicker on this one. Then it's maybe three. Coming back here, straighten up first before we do the hops. Four. 
and then down. Again, all optional to you. You can even leave them out, but I would definitely be wary of that. I wouldn't go back here and do that hopping. Um, again, even if you've got a fine back, I would do that. But see what suits you. Exploit the speed and tempo. Elongate the movement on the out breath. And just think of the vertebra stacking bone by bone. So as you're coming up, think of these vertebra stacking, coming up bone by bone. So it's a... So if you sort of imprint it against the imaginary wall, then do this bit, come back, or leave this bit out, but just be wary, I would support your back no matter what, here, and then hop, fire that. If you want to do a few, gather in, that will create a little bit of instability here, you know, um, that's what the pelvic floor and the corset stabilise against, these little micro movements, so you add in a little bit of instability, making it harder on the pelvic floor and the corset, okay? So again, and then just fire that exhale, carry on down. Lovely, that's the end of the Qigong sequence, the Pilates Hypno 8 form Qigong sequence.